Hey guys, this is j -Row. I'm showing you my progress. Um, here's a light that I've got. Um, it looks like it might be on right now, but it's not. It's just the, the room lights reflecting in it. That is running to this solid state relay. You see I've cut into the black cable, and that's on this side of the relay. And then I've got the DC wires on this side of the relay. The solid state relay uh, you don't need to use a diode. Uh, you don't need to use any resistors because it's got a built-in resistor. Um, you don't get the click of a of a normal relay, but these have these huge terminals, which uh, was one of the problems that I was running into. Now here's my Arduino. That's got an Ethernet shield and a Proto shield on top. Uh, this is the breadboard with the transistor. This is a 2222 generic transistor. Um, I have a 1K resistor going to the base of the transistor. So that's how that's set up. And of course this is the this is the code that you're all or the front end that you're all so familiar with. Uh, you can see when you click the LED3, it turns an LED3 on and off. Well LED8 I have running to the transistor, which powers a relay. So when I click eight, this light comes on. How cool is that? Uh, you can see on the relay, when I press it, the red light comes on. Um, I think I read that that red light means that the opto-isolator is functioning, which means that no AC can ever get to the DC side. So that, that's a good thing. So that's where I am. Um, one thing that I knew but I forgot about, <coughs> um, the Arduino does not put out enough current to trip the relay by itself. So I've got this external power supply. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, but this, this is kind of cool. Um, it's got different voltages. It's set to six volt right now because obviously you have to use a separate power supply to actually power the relay. The Arduino is powering or is turning on the transistor, which allows the external power supply power to flow through the resi or through the transistor into the relay. So you can see a click and it comes on. Um, I've, I've changed the code a little bit. Uh, it runs a lot faster now as you can see because I'm using a uh, Postgre database instead of MySQL. Um, MySQL doesn't allow for anything smaller than a second so if you were to click that faster than once every second it would freak out. Um, I'm adding a login system. Uh, this is just a preview of it. It doesn't actually function yet. Uh, you can drag the box around. I made that using jQuery. Uh, so that's that's it for now. Oh, oh yeah, there was one other thing that I wanted to show you. This is my iPad, and it works in this in this also. See. It works. It works on my iPad. Uh, I have a Droid. It works on my Droid. So that's pretty cool. That's that's where I am. Um, next thing to do, I have to put the Arduino in a box, in a, in a project box, mount it in a closet somewhere, run power to it, uh, put the relay up in the attic, connect it to the actual light uh, power wire. Uh, that's that's a good ways down the road though, but. This is this is really the milestone that I wanted to get to was to be able to control AC current with the Arduino. Um, all right, well, uh, why don't you guys post up videos of where where you are currently?